Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. This week, we're not gonna do uh, nothing too crazy. We're gonna do some, uh, I guess, well overdue uh, regular maintenance on my uh, GTR here. Uh, as most of you guys know, I have the HKS Mushroom uh, filters. Uh, super suction, I think that's what they're called. But uh, yeah, I do uh, have the red replacement uh, elements here. Uh, as I was reading up about it, apparently you're supposed to replace them every three to six months or 3,000 to 5,000 kilometers on the red ones. Uh, on the yellow ones, I believe they're a lot longer. Uh, they're almost double. I believe it's, uh, let me just go double check here. They are 12 to six months and uh, six to 10,000 kilometers. So a lot, lo a lot longer lasting. Uh, but they are dry so for me because we live in Canada and up in Alberta we're pretty dry up here so we're gonna go with the wet ones so I think so anyway so yeah the red ones are wet double layer green ones are dry I'm not sure how many layers and the yellow ones no clue I don't know I can't find anything online uh, if you do uh, leave a comment below uh, what the yellow ones are uh, I guess the specs for the yellow ones are. But before we get started today, you guys, remember I mentioned that um, on the flex fuel kit, Cobb supplied this kind of a, almost like a hard line. It does bend, but not quite well. And uh, I said it kind of bothered me a little bit, but so I found some stuff around the shop, some new fittings and voila. It fits so much nicer. Well, it fits just the same, but the holes flex so much better and it just fits so much nicer in there you guys. So if you guys decide to do your flex fuel kit like I did and upgrade the fuel rails, um, swap out this line, it's so much easier. And it just uh, puts less tension on the, the fittings and all that good stuff. So lucky for me, I did uh, relocate my HKS um, intake into the engine bay here. Uh, all I did was I just took off one of the, I guess, uh, pipe and shortened it. You didn't have to cut it or anything like that, so it's lucky for me. And on top of that, the filters are much easier to access. They're normally located under here where, one, you have to take the bumper off to do it the proper way. Two, you can cheat and take the shroud here off. But the only problem is you're gonna crush that filter and it looks horrible. But to some of you guys don't really care because well, the filters are not seen, but I don't know, I'm OCD with that. I'd rather have uh, my cones symmetrical, I guess, and not all crushed. So, yeah. So these are the uh, replacement elements, you guys. Uh, genuine HKS, no knockoff. And uh, if you guys can read Japanese, it says right here, 3,000 kilometers, three to six months. So, boom. It's pretty simple. How are you guys this weekend? I'm having a fantastic weekend. Everything going smooth, things going well. I'm gonna start up the car in like a couple of days. Uh, it's actually gonna start it for like the first time in like, I think like six months, I think. I think it's, I think it's six, like six months. Pretty exciting, eh? Yeah. Really hoping uh, we're gonna make some, some good power. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend too. That was a little tight, but I think this one is, is gonna be a little easier. Good thing my pull-out game is strong. They are well overdue. They're so dirty. And mind you, you know what? I don't put a whole lot of mileage on my car. 
but uh, Alberta is very dusty and yeah, well overdue. So let's uh, let's get them done. So first we're gonna take the old element out of the uh, frame here, and for my specific, I guess air filter, we have to take all the Allen keys off, and that's a number three. So we're gonna do that right now. There you go, and that's it. Garbage. So I guess there is a difference on side, uh, what side the filter is. It's kind of more coarse on this side and more dense on uh, the inside. Uh, so apparently it's pretty easy to, uh, I guess, replace these, but there's a certain way to fold them. You know, fold them like that, push these in, and just like that. Just like how you know you, you fold your tongue. Uh. <laughs> uh, some people can do it and some people can't, but you can feel the oil already on it. You want to make sure the uh, frame is uh, not bent or anything like that. It looks good. And it looks good. You want to fold it, put it in. Make sure you line up the hole in here. Make sure it doesn't catch. Just like that. And now we're going to put the Cajuns, I mean the frame and the cover back on. Okay, abort, abort, abort. Okay, cancel. Do not take the uh, little uh, bolts on the back, the uh, three number three Allen keys. Don't take those apart. <laughs> it's been such a long time I've, uh, I've replaced these guys. Um, all you have to do is take the number five Allen uh take the bolt out and the cage comes off so complete fail you guys <laughs> hks actually engineered it like really really simple you guys just take the number five like i did take it out and the cage comes off so i did it for this one so we're gonna do it for this one you guys sorry guys all right so this side is done but look at the difference in color you guys Incredible. So we're going to do that to this side and replace with the new filter. So as you can see, I already took the uh, five mil Allen key out with the well, five mil bolt with the Allen key and it should just come right out. like that Done. so yeah don't take the bolts on the back no necessary so now that we're all done I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in hopefully they go in as easy as uh, they came out but yeah should be pretty good kind of hard sometimes to put everything in just you kind of don't want to like damage anything or scratch anything up because you want to kind of show off your uh, engine bay and stuff and you don't want stuff all scratched up eh so that's what makes it a little bit harder This side is so much easier, driver's side. Uh, there's a lot more room to play with. Sure looks good, you guys. The red just pops. Uh, makes it uh, look so much nicer. Just gives the engine bay a little bit of color instead of just you know straight black and white and all the other colors of gray. But yeah, what a big difference. Look at that. Just this. Yep, not a whole lot of mileage, but man, so dirty. All right, guys, thanks again for hanging out with me. The new uh, HKS 
filters uh, look fantastic. And hopefully you guys are enjoying your guys' cars. Um, looking forward to next week. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I guess, prime up the uh, fuel pumps. Yeah, fuel pumps. And going to check for all the leaks. And then we're going to fire her up for the first time. And then I'm going to set the uh, base uh, fuel pressure. So uh, hopefully you guys you like everything that you guys see. And don't forget, smash the subscribe button, you guys. Turn on the notification and share with all your friends. And thanks for the support. And we'll see you guys next week. See ya! Like, oh, mm -hmm.